Hi guys, it's Rumi the Math Person, and today I'll be going over question 313 on exam P SLA website. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, so assume that you tried this problem yourself, let's just dive right in. So every day the 30 employees at an auto plant each have probability 0.03 of having one accident and zero probability of having more than one accident. So that means they could either have um so the probability that there is one accident is 0.03 and probability that there is more than one accident is zero so that means the probability of having zero accident is whatever is left over so that's 0.97 okay given there was an accident the probability of being major is x 0.01 and all other accidents are minor the number and severities of employee accidents are mutually independent Okay, okay. And let x represent the major accidents and y represents minor. So x major and y is minor. And then using the other information we have, the probability, oops, okay, oops. The probability of major accidents given that there was one accident is equal to 0 0.01. And probability of y. The minor accident is just whatever's left over, so it's just going to be 0.99. All accidents are minor, blah, blah, okay, okay. Determine the joint moment generating function of MMX, MXYST. Okie dokie, let me jokey. So, okay, I think the easiest way to do this is to, to, um, to so what is a moment generating function? The so moment generating function, as you remember, of this is equal to the expected value of t of x like that yeah. expected value of the x oh, it's so messy sorry about that it's equal to the expected value of e of t of x okie dokie let me choke so then so then let's see what we can do i think the easiest way is to make a chart um because s and t this oh okay sorry about that S and T in this represents the number of um, major accidents, and this is the number of um, minor accidents. And we know that the number of major accidents and minor accidents they can, they can only be one accident per day, because they said have, there is zero probability of having more than one accident. So that means um, one could be zero. So like there could be one major accident and no major accident i mean no minor accident <laughs> wait there could be one ma zero major accident or one minor accident or it could also be equal to there could be one major accident and no minor accident or they could either be zero accidents no major no minor accidents because again it can't be we can't have one major accident and one minor accident because then that would mean there is more there's two accident which is more than one so these are our only three options and we're trying to find the expected values so as long as we multiply this with our expected value times this then we can find the answer we can find a moment generating function so um for this one when there is zero major accidents and one minor accident that means this has to be equal to e to the um s oh no, no t t times one right times the probability that there is one minor accident right given there is one oh there's not enough space here let me make it big so um so what is the probability that t times the probability of minor accidents given that there is only one accident and similarly this is the probability this is e times s times one times the probability that there is one major accident given that there is one accident yeah and then this one is e to the they're both zeros, so that's just going to be e to the zero times the probability that there is no accident. Or I could just say n equals zero. Or 
s is equal to 0, t is equal to 0. So yeah, this is, should be t. What this is equal to? This is the easiest to calculate because we already have that, right? What's the probability that there's no accident? Well, it's just 1 times 0.97, right? And then what is the probability that there is, I'm going to write it here, what is the probability that there is um, one minor accident given there is an accident? Okay, well, that's equal to the probability of having an accident, which is 0 0.03, times the probability of having a minor accident, which is 0.99, right? So this is equal to 0 0.0297 e to the t because we still have this factor right here this is just part of a um, ex um part of moment generating functions so we sh we just have to multiply our expectation times the e to the tx and then for this one what would this one be so this one is equal to probability of that there is one major accident given that there is there is an accident all right or this has to be equal to 1. So that's equal to, we discover that there is 0.03%, that's still the same, the pro probability of having an accident times the probability that it's a major accident, that's 0.01, so that's equal to 0.003 e to the s. Okay, so then we just have to add all of this together, so that's e to the t, or I can just write it this way, 0 0.0297 e to the t, plus 0 0.003 e to the s plus 0 0.97 right but because this is only for one individual we have to find it for 30 employees and because they give you that it's independent you can just take this whole thing and then multiply, um, take it to the third 30th power and which is their answer b if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below otherwise make sure you like subscribe and share it to your friends bye